everybody is doing good make sure someone have a good day ensure that all of you guys are having a good day so far now last night i was on a stream we spoke about ravel morrison and on both a couple of friends of mine were speaking about um the issue that we have at left back so we're going to discuss ravel morrison and also we're going to discuss um kemar taxi lawrence and amar bell this won't be a long one guys this won't be a long one so what I want you guys to do, make sure that you smash the like button. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys do. As you guys know, another quick update. All right, so um, at this point in time, the question is, should we recall Ravel Morrison back into the squad? Big up Mr. Special Edition. 100% I believe that Ravel Morrison should be at one of the first players to receive that email. But another question is, will we see Ravel Morrison? Big up, um, Shock One Records. Big up. Would we, will we see Ravel Morrison? Um, Fiags, big up, bro. That is the question. Will we see Ravel Morrison? No. I try. Big up as well. <laughs> One other thing that we have to remember is this, you know. If anyone remember the follow-up between, big up, Wayne Swire. The follow-up between um, Tapa Whitmore and Mattox. And until now, until now we can't see about Mattox. Until now we can't see about Mattox. And people are asked, what's going on with Mattox? What's happening with Mattox? What's going on with Mattox? Because right now, Mattox has scored a whole pack goal for the club. My tax are drop later, right now. My drop later. And in, in the end of the day, we want players, we want players who, who, who play some really, really good football. My tax, one of the leading goal scorers for the reggae boys, I think he's on about 18 goals. Maybe about 60 appearances. Yeah. But we're not, we're, we're not seeing my tax. We're not seeing my tax because of the follow-up between Tapa Whitmore and my tax. Now, we know the situation right now with Ravel Morrison and Tapa. The question is, as fans, we know to ourselves that this team needs Ravel Morrison. We believe to ourselves that this team needs Ravel Morrison. We need Ravel Morrison. It's not a want. This is not a want thing. We need Ravel Morrison to the team. And last night I was thinking about it. I'm like, imagine a midfield um, three with a Daniel Johnson on the left or on the right and a Ravel Morrison on the left with a Anthony Grant as the holding. Can you imagine? I believe that would be that, that would be balance. You have creativity in there. You have people who can retain possession of the ball in that. You have people who can thread the eye of a needle pass in that. So I'm saying that 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 can be a perfect balance for the reggae boys midfield. Floor text me and tell me say me, me use sixty percent. Why on the answer, man? On the answer. Yeah, that's me. I say that provide balance. So any any time any any just go answer floor, blame floor. The others that give me a problem. People smash the like button. Oh, I'm forty persons watching. Only 12 likes, people. Smash the like button. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys do so. So, in the same sense, I look at me and say, all right. We need um, a player like Ravel Morrison. And as a manager, remember the top of Whitmore said that he doesn't really get time to coach a team. So, we're going to put it on a managerial level now. And um, as a manager, you need to understand man management. And a player like Ravel Morrison needs man management Askel Grant big up up massive respect bro thank you for coming in a play, a play like Ravel needs man management so some of the time it's not every player you can you can um, approach with the aggressive behavior or, 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 or the hand on the shoulder you have to know the players that you have because at this point in time this is a player that we cannot 
afford to lo to go again without. We can look on it now. Listen, Tapa can look on it and say that we played against Canada, we got a draw. We played against Andreas, we got a draw, and we got a win. And we didn't have Robert Morrison. So you can look at that, you know, and said the one game that Ravel Marson played in, we lost, but we played other games without him and win and get results. So he can actually bring that forward as his case that those games that he played, he lost the, he lost the game with Ravel Marson, but he get fair results with the one without. So he can bring forward that case. But we all know for a fact that we all know for a fact that this is a player that we want. Rob Smith said, "Stop move Speedy out of the lineup." You earn his spot, of course, of course. Speedy earn his spot. Me not, me not, me cannot deny that. And Speedy alongside Grant provides balance. Speedy alongside Grant provide balance. So we're talking about Speedy, Grant, Ravel, Daniel Johnson. I haven't seen back Casey Palmer, but we understand that. Young, young midfielder, 24, 23, 24. But we're talking about balance now. Balance. And now, when you look at the aspect of going forward, so even if we had a midfield three of a Grant, a Speedy, and a Ravel, that is pure balance. But we need someone to progress the ball, which is a Ravel Marson. We need someone who's going to progress the ball, which is a Ravel Morrison. And it, with a Ravel Morrison, the team of that has that horror around it. That idea that, yes, we are here. Guys, smash the like button. 50 persons watching, only 23 likes. Smash the like button. Now, so in my book, I'm not sure if most of you guys agree, but in my book, we need Ravel Morrison. We should definitely we should definitely call Ravel Marson. Definitely. I don't, I don't hear any situation that... Any situation that is happening between Ravel and Tapper needs to be solved. Mr. Ricketts come out publicly and call out Tapper Whitmore. Saying that he should sort out the indoor... The indoor issues. He said that publicly. So which means that he knew something is happening that we don't know about. So that needs to start out. That definitely needs to start out. Now, let's move away. Let's move to the reason why I spoke about um, Amar Bell. So, with Amar Bell now, taxi is playing consistently. Taxi is not getting any rest. Taxi is not getting a rest. 80% SMU. So, I'm going to see what I've got now, people. Just I go for one more minute. <laughs> Taxi not getting any rest. So at the end of the day, we need to get a backup. Either Greg Lee or Amari Bell. But at this point in time, Amari Bell might be just a, a niche above Greg Lee. So we need to bring in one of these players. But definitely, I think Amari Bell might get the, the heads up. But we'll see how that one goes. In the same sense, we have to do something about the left-back position. We're suffering with the left-back position. And that has to fix. It must fix. It must fix. People, flow keep on a text me and tell me amount of megabytes me I use. They might rob me. So I have to go now. Massive respect to everybody who come in. Big up to everybody who come in. Definitely, I'll do another video on this quite soon. And talk about it. Because we need to talk about the midfield setup. Something that we have been suffering for so long. Blessings, people. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hopefully, you guys are, 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 are doing well. Yes, taxi play that centre back. Doing well as well. Big up, people. And I'll see you guys again. Military Guna TV. And I'm out.